What's happening guys? Have I ever reviewed a three second video? I don't think I have. Anyway, this three second video is appropriately titled, Go! Bwah! Go! Now, if you were one of the 250,000 people who saw this video and laughed at that little girl getting hurt, you are a bad person. No, I'm kidding. You're not a bad person because you laughed at that video. You're a bad person because you touch yourself at night. Now, kids fall and hit their head all the time. It doesn't mean anything. I busted my head open plenty of times as a kid, and I don't have Dane Burmage. Funny thing is, I posted this video on my Twitter last night, and people loved it. They were writing me back like, dude, that video made my day. That video made your day? Really? I mean, the little girl wasn't really hurt, but when she hit the ground, she made a sound like she'd vomited. And that made your day. I mean, you guys got problems. Seriously, come on. All right, let's play a little game. Can you spot what's wrong with this next video? The next one behind that could affect us later in the week. This is how it looks tomorrow. Getting some steamy air. Temperatures are going to be a few degrees higher tomorrow in the mid to upper 90s for most of us. After I mean, what is it about this video that got it 450,000 views in four days? Oh, I don't know. Could it be the fact that there's a weather pattern shaped like Clifford the Big Red Dog's gigantic d I mean, what kind of storm front is shaped like that? And how did they not notice? How did the weatherman not notice that and go, now today's forecast is looking a little cloudy with a slight chance of, oh my God, that's a boner. No, not only does he not notice that there's a gargantuan schlong behind him, he like touches it. Concha Valley, mainly that high is going to steer those storms. Oh no, dude, don't pet it. Ugh. Seriously though, that's just a weather pattern. If there's ever a hurricane shaped like that, we're all f so this last video is pretty cool too. It's actually a clip from what I believe is a Chinese news source. Now I don't speak Chinese. I don't know what she's saying. Probably something along the lines of Me put pee pee in your coke. All right. So then they cut to the security footage of this intersection, right? You see the little truck there and then oh my god, he gets hit by a motorcycle. Oh my god, that was awful. Let's see it again. Alright, calm down. I already know what you guys are thinking. You're like, Ray, how the hell are you so f***ing handsome? Actually, you're probably thinking something more like, Ray, that was way brutal. Oh no, I haven't gotten to the best part yet. See, the motorcyclist hits the truck, right? Does an awesome flip and lands on his feet. And he comes back a few seconds later to survey the damage, exchange insurance information and whatnot. That, my friends, is f incredible. A judo flip and lands on his feet. I mean, who needs an airbag when you're a f***ing ninja? Jeez, how the hell did he go through all that and land on his feet when this little girl fell 13 inches and landed on her face? By the way, I can't help it. That sound that little girl makes when she hits the ground is hilarious. <laughs> but you know what never makes a weird sound? The comment question of the day, which comes from a username, Bing, and she said, Hey Ray, my comment question of the day is, if you could erase one thing from your memory, what would it be and why? So, if you could erase one thing from your memory, what would it be? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comments section below. Or on Facebook or Twitter. But thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson, and I approve this message. So, this looks like a job for... Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalking, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your mom. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk. I've been stalking your mom for like two years straight I'm way too shy to ask her out on a date So I just wait in your neighbor's lawn With my camera ready and my camouflage on And I know that I'll get plenty pics